fantastic friends welcome back to witchinary if you have yet to subscribe to this channel then please do so because we are getting spooky and frightful all month long and today i wanted to bring to you the kindred stamps happy haunting stamp set now i don't actually own the stamp set but my very awesome crafty sister jamie madison was kind enough to actually send me a couple of images stamped out and on some bristol smooth cardstock and some ultra matte black cardstock so i was actually able to use these images to bring you guys this video so thank you so much jamie special shout out to you i will link her account below if you guys want to check her out anyway from my stash i really wanted to start off by coloring these images and i pulled out my dual brush pens just to kind of start getting a good handle on my coloring i go ahead and i take out my second to darkest gray shade and i just color everything that's supposed to be black on these characters now beetlejuice man I absolutely love Beetlejuice. This is kind of one of those classic um, Halloween staples that I think everyone has to kind of watch. I was actually freaked out by the live action movie when I was a kid because Michael Keaton was in it and I don't know, I just kept picturing him as Batman. And do you know how weird it is to picture like the Cape Crusader as this like really wacky like horror person? Oh my god, it freaked me out. But I was really really in love with the animated series and that's kind of what I drew on for inspiration when it came to my characters for Kindred Stamps. Also shout out to Lydia for wearing leggings underneath a poncho. Girl, I wish I was as adept to doing some awesome ghoulish styles like you were and being as comfortable. Although I have to admit this is literally what I look like on the weekend so yay. Anyway. After I was done coloring all of my little images, I pulled out my Matte Stack Spooky Halloween paper pack and I wanted to work with this awesome paper that came in this stack and it's just purple with a couple of cobwebs on it or actually it's they're all over but whatever um, and I just wanted to build scene, well not a scene but I wanted to build a stage or some sort of place to actually ground my characters from this. Both of these cards are actually very labor intensive in the sense that I had to use a lot of engineering or ingenuity to actually ground my characters into something. So for this first card I really wanted to make like a cobweb to match the cobweb paper and to also match Lydia's dress. So I took out a ruler and just a pencil and I started kind of doing a little horizon line where I would kind of make a cobweb from. Now, you guys know I'm spatially challenged, so you best believe that the entire time that I was drawing these lines, I was sweating bullets. I was just kind of like, I hope this works out. I hope that this turns out okay. I really, really hope that this ends up kind of looking like a cobweb. Who knows? But yeah, I also should mention that unlike my other kindred stamp, uh, stamp videos, I didn't really have any particular scenes in mind. I just kind of was thinking about the actual vibe that the movie was going for and that's kind of what I launched all of my ideas off of to like make my cards. So because Beetlejuice had that awesome like surrealist sort of um, feel throughout most of the movie, I figured that doing things like this that kind of look odd, that kind of just present themselves, are still very true to the characters that were in that movie and would still very much, you know, bring some awesome pizzazz to these cards. And I think they did come out lovely, even if they did take a bunch of construction. After I was done actually making my little cobweb spider scene, I started coloring each and every other uh, cobweb rectangle with a green marker and then I go over the other ones with a darker green marker. I have a lot of green markers I'm starting to realize in both Copics and Tombow brush pens. I think I just gravitate towards the color and after I was done with that, and yes I do still color that cobweb I promise, um, I just do it after this. I raise up my characters with my foam circles and after I'm done with that, I raise up my sentiment after making a cute little fish tail, and I also adhere the sentiment to the inside of the card. And that actually finished off my first card. And it's so cute. If you got it, haunt it. I really, really love that sentiment. Anyway, again, for my second card, I wanted to work on a background, and I had just gotten this awesome uh, Simon Says Stamp Cling Spiderweb stamp and I also had just gotten the Tim Holtz stamping platform and I figured that was perfect. I don't know why I didn't think about this but I didn't need those magnets to stamp down on this because it's such a huge stamp. I want to make sure that I position this actual cling stamp so I get that circular cobweb 
on the center of my ultra matte black cardstock panel and i'm just going to ink it up with some embossing ink from simon says stamp because i'm then going to heat emboss some white embossing powder all over this and now i have to admit guys when i first got this idea i thought i was just going to make a little window like just plop out this little panel and just you know have my character standing there and then somehow through a stroke of really weird i don't know genius i guess i decided to take my exacto knife and actually make a window that would tear open to expose my characters also please forgive my very very messy uh messy bun that i actually keep bringing onto the camera i promise it's not like my forehair it's literally my bun it's it was just poking up that much we just got our heating turned on recently and it's causing already a ton of static in the air it's a bad hair day for me it's a good thing for all the other living creatures in my apartment but it is what it is so yes i'm gonna take my exacto knife and i'm just gonna cut open like a little window like literally just this little window panel and before you guys ask i don't actually have the die that would actually allow me to do this in a simpler way also if i could go back and redo this i would not use ultra matte black cardstock ultra matte black cardstock for those of you who do not know or like look at the link or anything it's 170 pounds of cover weight cardstock this stuff is no joke it's super heavy it's super dark it makes the darkest of blacks um cardstock look almost grayish or dusty i'm not joking so once i was done with all of that I wanted to pull out another piece of paper from the Spooky Halloween Matte Stack Paper Pack, particularly this striped panel because it reminded me of Beetlejuice's uh, stripes on his pin suit. So I adhere that down with my tape runner and then I position my panel so it would go directly over that. I'm going to raise this up with some foam circles and off camera peel all that back and start adhering my little characters to the inside of my card. Now. I was very very excited once this started coming to life because I was super unsure about how this was going to turn out but the second that I started seeing it come to life I was like oh I know who's going to get this my friend Xavier is going to get this because he's super into how cards can be a lot more interactive he loves those concepts of just ingenuity overall or engineering a card to do something more than it's intended like oh this is a cute little sentiment so when I got this done I was like oh my god Xavier's going to love this so after I'm done, I'm going to adhere the sentiment showtime and I'm just going to make sure that that one window goes right, right below the other. I do end up cutting off all the excess so that way you can kind of get a little peek of Beetlejuice inside of the panel that kind of like gives an homage to Beetlejuice being inside of that little playhouse. At the bottom of this panel, I'm going to adhere a sentiment that says, I hope your house isn't haunted. And then on the inside, I'm going to adhere the, if you've got it, haunt it. Uh, sentiment just because you know it's super cute i couldn't stop playing around with this cute little window after i did it and i don't know i'm really i'm really really proud of myself i'm happy that i kept going with this card so i'm just gonna say that a few more times guys i'm sorry humble bragging here <laughs> so i'm gonna adhere this down to the inside of my card and that finished off my two cards Thank you guys so much for joining me for another video. I hope to see you guys in the next one. And I hope that you guys take care and have a fabulous rest of your evening. Take care.